So here we're going to work through this simple example again using our fours and nines. We're going to assume that we have some feature that we're measuring x. It's typically a vector, but I'm going to show it here as a scalar. So x goes from small x, so little x, to big x. All right, it's changing, changing values. Clearly, all the way to the left, I've got more fours, and all the way to the right, I've got more nines. At the best decision boundary, okay, and that's what's indicated in red here. At that boundary, if I call it a four or I call it a nine, it should cost me, on average, the same. Because, in fact, if, if calling it a 4 would be less risk than calling it a 9, I'm going to move that boundary this way. And if cost, calling it a 9 is better than calling it a 4, I'm going to move the boundary that way. So at the best possible boundary, the expected loss is the same regardless of which label I announce. All right. So if we pick the label 4, okay, at that boundary, okay, then the expected loss is what? Well, it's just what is the probability that it's really a 9 and that I call it a 4, the cost of calling it a 4, and what's the probability that it's really a 4 and the loss of calling it a 4? Well, if you remember, remember we assumed that the loss of x to x is 0, that is, there's no cost of calling a 4 a 4, well, that means that this just reduces down to, well, if I'm at this location x, what's the probability it's really a 9 and the cost of calling the 9 a 4? That's the expected loss of saying 4 at that location. Likewise, what's the expected loss if I say 9 at that location? Well, symmetrically, it's just what is the probability that it actually was a 4? And what's the loss? of calling a 4 a 9, okay? So those are the two different values, the losses that I want. Now, remember we said before, at the best decision boundary, either labeling a 4 or labeling a 9, the cost, the expected cost would be the same. So the best decision boundary is, where, is the x such that the probability that the class is really a 9 times the cost of calling a 9 a 4 will be equal to the probability that it's really a 4 times the loss of calling a 4 or 9. When I set those two values equal, that's the x that I want for my decision boundary. What that means is if I'm going to classify a new point, I'm just going to look at these values, right, at some new point x. What's the probability that it's really a 4 times the probability that I call a 4 or a 9? If that's greater than the probability that it's a 9 times the loss of calling a 9 or 4, if that's true, I'm going to call this thing a 4. Otherwise, I'm going to call it a 9. 